Hey you guys, today I am so excited because I'm gonna share with you guys some of the items that I have, one, purchased for our vacation that we took last week. Um, I had mentioned to you guys that we went to Acumal, Mexico, which was so great. It was such a nice vacation because typically, we like to really explore and just do a lot of stuff during vacation, but this one we decided to just kind of take it easy actually relax and not do too much and it was just glorious literally it was so nice so i did purchase a couple of things for this trip some beauty some uh, i do have a swimsuit to share as well and then some other items i've had for a while but they were like something i really enjoyed on vacation so i'll start with the beauty products so the first thing that i have to talk about is the one and only Ilya skin tint I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to a lot of like really hyped beauty products, I kind of get turned off. And I think the reason for that is because I've tried a lot of different beauty products that are super hyped. Everyone seems to love them and then I try them and I, I don't like them. So this is something that's been in my cart for probably about a year and I have to say it is absolutely worth the hype. It is so worth the hype. My skin loves this. So I do have dry skin. And anytime that we go to a humid climate, like my skin just soaks it up. Like my skin looks so glowy, so radiant. It looks so healthy. And I do think that just the humidity, humidity in the air really helps all my skincare products just kind of sink into my skin a little bit better. But um, it doesn't really matter like what foundation I'm wearing. I always feel like the tip of my nose and usually right here on my cheeks will always look like I'm wearing foundation. And so it doesn't matter how great I am at moisturizing my skin, I just feel like a lot of foundations look a little cakey there. This does not look like that at all. Literally, it doesn't even look like I'm wearing foundation. I got the shade ST5 Bomb Bomb and truthfully, I probably could have gone a shade darker or a shade lighter. I feel like the shades are pretty forgiving. With that being said though, I do also feel like the coverage is pretty decent. I don't know what it is. It's like this magical product and it worked so well for me. Um, I love that this also has really great skincare ingredients in it. So it has niacinamide, squalene, and hyaluronic acid. And truthfully, you guys, my skin just looked so good with this on. I was almost afraid of it being a little too dewy, but what I do is I just take the tiniest bit of powder and I'll put it like on my forehead and on my chin area and it's beautiful. It's so gorgeous. I am obsessed with this. So obviously if you're going on a vacation, you need a facial sunscreen. And this is my tried and true. This is the Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer, Moisturizer SPF 47. This is the tinted version. This is my first time trying the tinted version. I usually just get the original. However, I do find the original to be a little thick. And with that, I find that it can leave a little bit of a white cast. It's still amazing, I still love it, and truthfully, I still always go back to it, but I was reading the reviews on the tinted version, which typically I don't love a tinted SPF on my face, just because I find them to usually be a little too dark or a little too light, and especially when this is like a universal shade, there's no shades in this, as far as I could tell. But I was reading the reviews, and a lot of people said this was like their holy grail SPF for their face. And I'm like, okay, like I almost wonder if this is a little bit thinner in consistency. And since it's tinted, you probably don't get the white cast. So I decided to try the Protect and Perfect, which is the tinted version. And I do find it to be a little bit thinner in consistency. Now I'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant because when Josie Marin first launched this product, it was perfection. It was really, it was kind of thin. It was pretty thin, but it was also super, super moisturizing. I remember it was years and years and years ago when I first got it and my skin loved it. My skin looked so great. I felt like it was super healing on my skin as well. It was literally the best moisturizer and the best SPF I have ever tried. Unfortunately, they reformulated it and now it is a little bit thicker. However, I just saw that they literally just released a new SPF and it's supposed to be a lot thinner. So I am dying to try that one. They typically do an Earth Day sale for I think like 25% off on josiemarin.com. So I think I'm just gonna wait for that and order the new one since I just got this. Obviously this will last me a while. This is really good. I'm really excited to try the thinner version though and just see if that's like what it used to be when they first came out with it because 
it was the best. It was so good. But this is still really great. Really like this. And again, like I would still even purchase the untinted version even if it is a little bit thicker because it just works so well. And truthfully, I can wear the untinted version and because it is a little bit thicker, I feel like I can wear that all day long and like I will not get burnt. I will not even get a little bit of a tan. Like it really truly protects my skin and it's just, it's so great. So love the Josie Marin SPF. The next product I'm gonna talk about is something I've actually had for a while and truthfully I got it and didn't really use it for probably a couple months. But I decided like, okay, like we're gonna go on vacation. Like I wanna try a cream blush. I've really been gravitating towards creamier products, which is something I've never really done before. I've always been a powder blush, powder, bronzer kind of person, right? Well, I decided to get the Kyra Wise blush and this one I honestly can't remember the name I want to say it's blossom but I will um I'll have it in the description down below and I'll try to link it so this is what it looks like and I decided to wear this when I was in Mexico and literally you guys this is like the best blush ever I don't know why I have not been wearing this it first of all it just looks really beautiful on the skin like it's it's creamy but it's not oily it's not oily at all it blends very nicely and I've actually been using this Sephora 47 brush, which I will also link this down below. This is typically what I use for foundation. And this was like the perfect brush to use for the blush, blush application. Um, and it was the perfect size to fit right into because it's right into the blush as well. And it just, this was like the perfect combo. I am obsessed with this blush though. Like literally, I think I'm going to be ordering another one because I actually found it on sale. And I want to get a peachier shade of this because this is kind of a pink, but it's still really beautiful. I love this color, um, but I do want to get a peach so I can have some variety for the spring and summer. But truthfully, I'm kind of like, okay, let's just throw out all my other blushes because I am that obsessed with this one. And I think too, Kyra Wise is a more organic, non-toxic makeup a brand and so I think sometimes you can think like oh well then it's not going to be long wearing or like oh well then the formula is going to be a little like greasy. Truthfully I don't find that to be true at all with this like this wears very well and it's like the perfect creamy formula because it's not too dry it's not too oily and it looks really really beautiful on the skin. The next makeup item that I was obsessed with is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand and this one's in Spotlight. Okay first of all these are these come in like, she has some contour sticks, she has the highlight, and I think she has some blush colors. They're sold out everywhere right now, and I don't know why, maybe they're doing some sort of like repackaging. I have no idea, but I truly hope that they bring these back because this is a beautiful highlight. I love this, this is perfect for the spring and summer, and it is pretty, I don't wanna say it's super intense, but it's like that really pretty highlight, you know? Because I feel like sometimes you try highlights and they're either really intense, or they're not intense enough and this is like the perfect medium and yeah i have nothing bad to say about this this is really gorgeous i do hope they come in stock because this is beautiful okay let's talk about skincare so like i said my skin just loves the humid climate and i decided i always anytime we're going on vacation i usually always bring my leilani like serums and oils because the smell is just so so good and intoxicating and so I brought the Siren Brightening Serum and my skin just loved this. It's so moisturizing, but I truly feel like it's just so luxurious on the skin. And it smells amazing. All of her products smell amazing. Um, it smells like oranges. So this is like their little travel size. And actually there's quite a, quite a bit of product in here. But this is so good. And I think I'm actually going to do like a video like a product overview on the Leilani products because I've used them for years and I literally have nothing bad to say about them and I've tried almost all of her products. So I thought maybe I'd, I'll do a little video kind of talking about how much I love all of her products and what ones are like my top, top favorites. But that was amazing to have on vacation as well. And then I finally jumped on the bandwagon and got a jade roller. I don't know why, but like I never was super intrigued to try one out. But my problem is I get really puffy. Um, I get really puffy, especially like in a really hot climate. And also anytime, if I have like a glass of wine at night, I'll wake up with a puffy face. If I have like a greasy burger, I'll wake up with a puffy face. Like my skin is just, I feel like my face holds a lot of water. And so I was like, okay, we're gonna try a jade roller. And I am so obsessed. If you guys have TMJ, 
this feels amazing on the jaw like oh my goodness but i also really love the little eye area for when i get puffy on the eyes because my eyes do get puffy very very easily as well this is great i have been obsessed with this it just feels so good and so relaxing so those were all of my beauty products that have been like all-time favorites during our trip so I thought that I would also share um, a swimsuit that I purchased. So, okay, I really wanted to try Somersault, right? Seeing Somersault everywhere. And I think that they have some of the most beautiful one-piece swimsuits. So I decided to order one, and this is probably my fault, but I did not realize that they don't come with cups, okay? I need cups. I need a cup. I need a cup. So they don't have cups at all. And I just felt like I don't feel comfortable in this. And also I got the long version because I do have a long torso. And truthfully, it could have been a little bit longer for me. So it, the fit just wasn't quite right. And the fact that I didn't have cups, you know, I think the swimsuits are like $95 each. And I just feel like when you're paying that kind of money, like I want the option to have cups in my swimsuit. So I did return that. However, I got these bottoms and I, off the top of my head, I don't remember what they're called, but they have like these um, kind of like this elastic here where you can make the sides like go up a little bit higher or you can have them down like this. These are amazing. I love these so much. I do find that these run pretty true to size and they're super comfortable. And I do think that Somersault has some really high quality fabric though. I really do love the fabric on their swimsuits. Even though the one piece didn't quite work out for me, if they were to put cups in, I might retry them because they, that swimsuit felt very, very high quality. But these are perfect and I love these just because like, you know, you can go on the beach and you don't have to worry about anything. Like they're just, they're full coverage, which are so hard to find. I like a full coverage swimsuit bottom and I feel like you can go to Target and good luck trying to find a full coverage swimsuit bottom. So I decided to splurge a little bit, but truthfully 100% worth it. And I got black because black pretty much goes with everything. Highly recommend those. And the last thing I want to talk about is a strapless bra, okay? Because I have been on the hunt for a good strapless bra. And I got one from Nordstrom maybe like a couple years ago and it was the most uncomfortable thing I have ever worn. And so I've been hearing a lot of hype over this one. And this is the Waycole, I believe that's how you say it, the Waycole red carpet strapless bra. This is so good. The hype is real. This is like the best strapless bra I have ever tried. It does not, you know, you don't have to sit there and keep pushing it up or anything all day long. It's super comfortable and I cannot recommend it, recommend it enough. Um, I did get this during the Nordstrom anniversary last year. So, I mean, if you want to wait till then, but again, I only wear a strapless bra basically during the summer, but I will link it down below. Super worth it. And again, very, very comfortable. So that is everything that I really love for our vacation. I'm not going to show like any swimsuit cover-ups or any dresses because truthfully, I didn't really buy anything new for that, which was fine by me. But yeah, these were really, really great. And I highly recommend all these products. I will link them all down below. And I hope you guys are having a great day. And I will see you in my next video.